this doesn't sound that good now, does it? So this is coming from Intel. I mean, this is coming from WCCF Tech. This is about Intel. Grid Infrastructure is joined by Argo Blockchain, Block Incorporated, and Hive Blockchain Technologies to become the first customer to work with Intel Block Scale Application Specific Integrated Circuit, or ASIC. The new infrastructure will be able to power up to 580 giga hash a second hash rate for effective and efficient cryptocurrency mining on a large scale. Intel reveals today information about the newest block scale ASIC utilizing several years of research and development. This ASIC will supply consumers with the energy efficient hashing for proof of work consensus grids. Quote, momentum around blockchain continues to build. It is the enabler of decentralized and distributed computing, making way for innovative business models. To power this new era of computing, Intel is delivering solutions that can offer an optimal balance of hashing throughput and energy efficiency, regardless of a customer's operating environment. Intel's decades of R&D in cryptography, hashing techniques, and ultra-low voltage circuits make it possible for blockchain applications to scale their computing power without compromising on sustainability, end quote. That's from the vice president and general manager of custom compute in the accelerated computing systems and graphics group of Intel. Compute requirement for blockchains operating proof of work consensus tools is rising rapidly due to resiliency and capability to scale without surrendering decentralization. This increasing pool of computing power demands an immense quantity of energy, necessitating new technologies that can deliver the required capacity in a more energy efficient way, while also being stable enough to mitigate long-term e-waste circumstances. For proof-of-work algorithms consistent with the ASIC-based systems and SHA-256 hashing, the Intel block scale ASIC will provide power efficiency and computing capacity required to reach scalability and sustainability. Intel will be capable of offering it in, a magni in magnitude without compromising the stockpile of new CPUs or GPUs. This is another quote coming from Jose Rios. It says, Intel is committed to advancing blockchain technology in a responsible way. And we're proud to, proud to collaborate with and provide solutions to companies that are creating a more sustainable cryptocurrency ecosystem globally. The Intel block scale ASIC is going to play a major role in helping Bitcoin mining companies achieve both sustainability and hash rate scaling objectives in the years ahead. And he is the general manager of blockchain and business solutions in the accelerated computing systems and graphics group for Intel. Some key features for the Intel block scale ASIC include dedicated secure hash uh, algorithm 256, SHA-256 ASIC processor, up to 580 giga hash a second hash rate operating at 26 joules per terahash on the power efficiency scale on-chip temperature and voltage sensing capabilities, support for up to 256 integrated circuits per chain, and reference hardware design and software stack to jumpstart customer systems development. Customers of Intel BlockScale ASIC will, be, uh, will begin to receive shipments starting in the third quarter of 2022. Beginning next year and into the future, Intel will be operating with the providing uh, or with and providing future customers who convey the company's sustainability ideals. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bitmain real quick and compare that joules to terahash watts. So the newest, most efficient one that we have from Bitmain is going to be the S19 XP hybrid, which is 20.89 joules per terahash. And that's supposedly at this point, the most efficient one that you can currently purchase on the network. Um, other than, I guess, well, let's just compare it to the S19 Pro for the best, right? So 20, okay. So that would be 29.5 joules per terahash. And over here, we are at the 26 joules per terahash. So it falls somewhere in between uh, the S19 XP Hybrid and the S19 Pro. It's not necessarily 
in my opinion, the most efficient thing out there, at least from what I can tell. But, you know, it is right on par to be competitive with Bitmain. I was expecting a little bit better, to be honest, uh, at least up until we saw the leaks of, of course, the first gen of the BMZ1 chip, which didn't look to be that great. And then it was pretty disappointing. And of course, they said that it was going to get much better with, of course, BMZ2. It's much better, but it's not much better than the competition that's already out there. It is still good news that we have another competitor within the scene. Of course, when it comes to Bitcoin mining in particular, the big downside that we have is the actual ability to decentralize the hash power across not just companies, but to the general consumer. And as far as I can tell at this point, it doesn't look like we're gonna have access as a general consumer to these mining machines. And for, of course, any sort of cryptocurrency that is proof of work based, that is the preference. That's why you do still see coins that are still launching with GPU mineable only and ASIC resistance because you have a consumer grade product that will go ahead and hash out. And I think this is very important to basically talk about. If we're talking about Intel, who does have the consumer outlet to get out into the hands of people directly, a direct consumer, I think that it would be beneficial for them to go ahead and push that. However, as you know, when we talk about any of this in purchasing them, the problem is, is that large companies are going to be able to purchase in bulk, which is going to significantly reduce their cost. And this even happens within the GPU mining space where A2000s get snagged up for super cheap in bulk by larger companies and they're able to get them for like four to five hundred dollars a pop while the consumer is paying anywhere from 600 to 650 but at least at the end of the day the consumer is still able to purchase them we even see this of course within asics 2 where if you were going to purchase like a bitcoin mining asic directly you're always going to pay like a 10 to 20 percent premium if you're just purchasing one compared to what you could do if you're in bulk not only that, but it's also difficult just to find and locate all of these parts. And that is why as the GPU market gets better, I think there will be a higher demand for GPU mineable coins. And we'll just have to see how that plays out. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.